I'm sorry that I'm a few minutes late if you're watching live. If you're not watching live, it doesn't matter at all what time it is. Um, I'm Miss Rachel from the William Jeans Memorial Library, and we're here for Sensory Story Time. And I do apologize for being late. We had some, um, uh, well, one of those mornings um, I've been on vacation all week, and I came back, and um, none of my things were where I thought they were. And so then I had to use a different laptop, and the camera access wasn't allowed, and all kinds of things that don't matter to you at all because it's all behind the scenes. Now we're here, and I'm so happy that it's Tuesday, and I get to rejoin you once again for Sensory story time. So if you would like me to include your name in our welcome song, you can put it in the comments, and I would love to welcome you personally. That's what we'll start out with, is the welcome song. Then we'll read our first book. It's about bugs. It's so cool. Then we'll do our next song. And then we will read another book, which is about bunnies and all kinds of other animals. When we get here, that's when we'll do our shaker song. So I'm going to put my shaker eggs here, so you know that when we get to this song, it's shaker time. And so you could get something ready now if you want to shake. If you don't have shaker eggs, that's okay. You can use a maraca. You can use um, any kind of little snack or food or rice inside a container. You could use even a pair of keys or a baby rattle. Anything at all you want to use for shaker song. Then we'll do our scarf song. And the same thing there. You don't have to have a scarf like my story time scarf. You can use, um, you could even use a tissue. You could use a blankie. You could use a scarf that somebody wears around their neck. Anything you can wave around can be your scarf. Then, of course, we will end with bubbles, which we always do. So let's start with our welcome song and say good morning and hello to everyone. Hello, Oliver, Spider-Man. Hello, Oliver, Spider-Man. Hello, Oliver, Spider-Man. We're glad you're here today. Hello, Theo. Hello, Theo. Hello, Theo. We're glad you're here today. Hello, Adian. Hello, Adian. Hello, Adian. We're glad you're here today. Hello, Luca. Hello, Luca. Hello, Luca. We're glad you're here today. Hello, Eva. Hello, Eva. Hello, Eva. We're glad you're here today. We are so glad that you're here this morning. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anyone. Yes. Um, we are starting to do outside story times, and we'll still be doing our Tuesday morning virtual story times um, for anyone who's not able or uh, comfortable coming to outdoor in-person story times. But if you're interested, Please make sure you're signed up for the children's newsletter for our library. You can find that at jeanslibrary.org. Um, check Facebook, check our website. All of those are the places you will find out about outdoor story times um, because I don't plan them very far in advance because of the weather. So usually Sunday um, I will look at the weather for the week and put out some story time slots for the coming week. Um, if Monday already looks like a bad day, I might wait until Monday to send that out. So you have to stay tuned, but our virtual story times will continue as well. So that's enough blabbery blabbing. Let's read our book about bugs. Guess what it's called? Some Bugs. The words are by Angela Dieterlizzi, and the bugs are by Brendan Wenzel who is one of my favorite illustrators of children's books. This is, um, I'm going to move so you can see the pictures, published by Beach Lane Books. All right, let me get all organized here. Because you definitely want to see the pictures of these bugs. Some bugs. That's not a bug. What's that? Yep, you're right. That's a cat. But do you see a bug on this page? There it is. You're right, a ladybug. 
some bugs sting. Some bugs bite. Do you know which ones do which? This one is a, a pincher. I don't know if you would call that a bite or, a, or what. Here is a scorpion's tail. That's the part of the scorpion that stings. And you know what that is? A mosquito. That's a biter. And maybe you've seen around your house stink bugs. I still, my whole life, have never smelled a stink bug. Some bugs sting, some bugs bite, some bugs stink, and some bugs fight. That's a kind of a beetle. Now, if you check this book out from the library and you take it home, you will get to look very closely at every page because there are all kinds of other bugs and little details that you won't want to miss. Some bugs flutter. Some bugs crawl. Here's a crawling one. Here's a crawling one. Here's a crawling one. This one, you know, is a flutterer. A butterfly who flutters, that's what I mean. Some bugs curl up in a ball. These are called pill bugs, or as I always called them, roly polies. And I think someone is looking at those roly-polies thinking they might make a good snack. Some bugs hop. Some bugs glide. Some bugs swim. Some bugs hide. Do you see any hidden bugs on this page? I see some. I wonder what these bugs are hiding from. Hmm. That could be. Maybe you're right. Some bugs click. It's called a click beetle. And some bugs sing. Did you ever hear grasshoppers or crickets at night? It's kind of like they sing. Some bugs do a bzzz buzzing thing. And you probably know about those. And look who's back on this page. Remember who that is from the beginning of the book? There's the cat. Some bugs build these paper wasps are making a big hive. Some bugs make. You see a spider making something? It might be hard to see on the computer. The spider's web. Some bugs hunt. There's a hunting bug. And some bugs take. Whoa, what a feast. Stinging, biting, stinking, fighting, hopping, gliding, swimming, hiding, building, making, hunting, taking. Bugs are oh so fascinating. 
so many cool bugs. So, kneel down close. Look very hard. And find some bugs in your backyard. Wow, this backyard is full of spring. So many things are happening on this page. So you really should borrow this book so you can look even more closely at all of the things that are happening in this backyard. But I don't want you to just look at the book. I want you to look in your real backyard or front yard, or if you take a walk, anywhere you can. Look carefully and closely. See what you can see. What little tiny things are hiding? Now, if you want to know what all the bugs in this book are, the end tells you every single bug that is shown throughout this book. Some of them are not actually scientifically bugs. They are insects and maybe some other things. I'm trying to think what else we saw in here. But anyway, you can find out what all of the different creatures are that we saw in this book. And most importantly, go outside and find some amazing bugs and creatures yourself. All right, my friends. We are going to get some wiggles out, and we're also going to practice stopping. Now, you might not need any help getting your wiggles out. I'm going to take a little sip of coffee to give me a little extra wiggle for this song. All right, are you ready? We'll start with wiggling, and then we'll do some other things, too. We wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and stop. Good job. We clap and we clap and we stop. Let's do it faster. We clap and we clap and we stop. We clap and 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 we stop. You guys are hard to trick. I guess it helps that you know the rhythm of the song when the stopping part is going to come. Let's wave. We wave and we wave and we stop. We wave and we wave and we stop. We wave and we wave and we wave and we wave. We wave and we wave and we wave and we wave. I tricked you. We wave and we wave and we wave and we wave. We wave and we wave and we stop. Did I get you that time? Let's try shaking. We shake. And we shake and we stop. We shake and we shake and we stop. We shake and we shake, we shake and we shake, we shake and we shake and we stop. You guys are good at this. How about let's do a nice gentle tap? We tap and we tap and we stop. We tap and we tap and we stop. We tap and we tap and we tap and we tap, we tap and we tap and we stop. And that makes me think of bouncing. You ready? We bounce and we bounce and we stop. We bounce and we bounce and we stop. We bounce and 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 we stop. Maybe you are not sitting down on a bouncy seat. Maybe you're standing up. So you can bounce standing up. It's called jumping. Are you ready? I don't have room to jump between myself and my computer, but I bet you have plenty of room to jump. So, you ready? We jump and we jump and we stop. <gasps> you can't stop jumping when you're in the air. You have to land first, right? We jump and we jump and we stop. We jump and we jump. We jump and we jump. We jump and we jump and we stop. Very good, my friends. We got some good wiggles and sh jiggles and shakes out, and I think we're ready for our next book. It's called A Bunny 
is funny. This is written by Harriet Ziefert and Fred Ehrlich. And it, the paintings are by Todd McKee, or Mackay. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And it's published by Blue Apple Books. A bunny is funny. And so is this book. Let's check it out. This is called the title page. Even though it tells us the title on the cover of the book, this has another page that tells us the title, A Bunny is Funny. And guess what? They added some extra words. And so is this bird. <gasps> what kind of bird is that? A penguin. Some more animals. This creature looks swell in its blue shell. It has no paws, but watch out for its claws. Make one mad and you'll smell bad. Bet you'd never thunk. You could stink like a skunk. That's right. You can probably guess a lot of the words from the rhyme that you know is coming and from the picture of the animal. A sea full of fish is a penguin's big wish. You'd be so lucky if you could black like a ducky. Now, I don't know if you know this one. There are birds with big beaks, but not even a few can hold as much fruit as the beak of a toucan. That is a big beak, isn't it, my friends? If we had beaks and they were that big, we could have a lot of fruit at one time. Here is a most unusual beast. Its ears are most, and its tail is least. Most, most what? most large, right? An elephant has big ears. It has a long and limber nose that sprays out water like a hose. We come in all colors with gills and scales. That makes us fish instead of whales. Did you know that? That there are differences, big differences between fish and whales. Whales are not just really big giant fish. They are different. They don't have gills and they don't have scales, which are two things that fish have. Scales cover their bodies and gills are how they breathe not whales. And here comes the animal from the title of our book. A rabbit is serious, but a bunny is funny. This animal's neck is too tall for a page this small. So what did they do? Added some room for the tall giraffe neck. Now maybe you've seen pictures of this animal and sometimes illustrations, pictures of this animal make them look always pink. But actually pigs can be all different, not all different colors. I don't think I've ever seen um, a green pig but they can have 
black, they can have gray, they can have pink, brown, they can be spotted, they can be white. So here is a whitish pig with some gray and black coloring. A pig's always hungry. It loves to eat slop. <laughs> you can tell by its size, it sometimes can't stop. <laughs> You better stop trying to catch hold of that lion. Whatever you do, don't ever try to catch a lion. How could a caterpillar creeping up a tree turn into something as pretty as me. I bet you know that. I bet you know that caterpillars build cocoons or chrysalises around themselves and then when they come back out in a few weeks time they are butterflies or moths. It's never any use to argue with a moose. If I were looking for a pillow, I would not choose an armadillo. They have a very hard outside, not good pillows. When I fly at night, I'm very quiet. I'm satisfied with my mouse diet. I always hoot. I never howl. Whoo! Whoo! I'm an owl. My quills act like a warning sign. Don't mess with me. I'm a porcupine. Do you know what this is? This is not a horse that's lumpy. It's a camel that is double humpy. Double means two. One, two humps. My legs are very long and thin. That's how I reach to scratch my chin. Did you know that a flamingo could scratch its chin with its very long, thin legs? One animal left. Even if you see it smile, do not trust a crocodile. Some people say that crocodiles look like they're smiling if you look at them straight on, but you do not want to trust or go near a crocodile. They are better to view from far away or in a book or on a video. All right, we've been discovering all kinds of creatures today, haven't we? Whoops, I forgot to take down our, our song last time. There, now we took down our book. I was thinking it was about time for shaker time. Ready? So I have my shaker eggs. You need to get out whatever it is you would like to shake with. And if you don't have anything to shake, just use your hands. Your hands are always there for shaking. I'm going to turn our speaker on so we can get ready to make some music together. While you get your shaker items. All right. We've got the speaker on. 
let's connect to it. That means we're connected. I've got my shaker eggs and that means it's time. We're ready. Here we go. <laughs> Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Come on and shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Come on and shake it with me. Come on, shake it up. Come on, shake it down. Come on, shake it all around. Shake it any way you want. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Come on and shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your toes. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your toes. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your toes. Come on and shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your knees. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your knees. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your knees. Come on and shake it with me. Come on, shake it up. Come on, shake it down. Come on, shake it all. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your head. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your head. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your head. Come on and shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your elbows. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your elbows. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your elbows. Come on and shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Come on and shake it with me. Come on and shake it with me. Come on and shake it with me. Nice shaking, everyone. Nice shaking. Good job. Let's see. I think now that we have done the shaker song, it's time to do a scarf song. So you can get out something that you could use for a scarf. It doesn't have to be this kind of scarf. It could be a headband. It could be a mask. It could be a tissue. It could be a t-shirt. Um, anything at all that you can wave around like a scarf. And what we are going to do is we are going to sing a weather song and our scarf is going to play the part of the weather. So. I don't know when you are watching this video, but at the time that we are recording this video, it is a beautiful, sunshiny day. In fact, I almost hope you're not watching this now. I hope you're outside playing and then watching this later because it's so beautiful outside. Or if you are watching live, you should go out and play sometime today. It is sunny. But we have also had some weather recently that is rainy, plenty of rainy days. And we have had some wind. Yesterday was pretty windy and it was also sunny. And not too very long ago, we had snow and more snow and more snow. But now that it's spring, we don't have to worry about that anymore. But we are gonna sing a song that has all these different kinds of weather in it. So let's start with the one that's farthest away in time, the snow. Snow is falling, what should I do? Snow is falling, what should I do? Snow is falling, what should I do? 
What should I do, my darling? I'll put on my mittens, that's what I'll do. I'll put on my mittens, that's what I'll do. I'll put on my mittens, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do, my darling. Wind is blowing, what should I do? Wind is blowing, what should I do? Wind is blowing, what should I do? What should I do, my darling? I'll pull my hood up, that's what I'll do. I'll pull my hood up, that's what I'll do. I'll pull my hood up, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do, my darling. Rain is falling, what should I do? Rain is falling, what should I do? Rain is falling, what should I do? What should I do, my darling? I'll put on my rain boots, that's what I'll do. I'll put on my rain boots, that's what I'll do. I'll put on my rain boots, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do, my darling. And now for today's weather report. Sun is shining. And you can't see. Oh, maybe if I back this up, you can see how high I'm going to make my sun shine. Nope, still off screen. Sun is shining. What should I do? Sun is shining. What should I do? Sun is shining. What should I do? What should I do, my darling? And this is a very important one, especially now that it's warm out and we're spending more time outside. We'll put on sunscreen. That's what we'll do. We'll put on sunscreen. That's what we'll do. We'll put on sunscreen. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do, my darling. Ready for any kind of weather. Snow, rain, wind, sun. There's always ways we can protect ourselves to be outside and enjoy the weather. So I hope that you have some time to do that today or sometime soon. It's time for us to say goodbye with our bubble song. And if you have bubbles at home, you can join in. If not, you can follow the bubbles on your screen as you watch them blow past. There are bubbles in the air, in the air. There are bubbles in the air, in the air. There are bubbles in the air. There are bubbles everywhere. There are bubbles in the air everywhere. There are bubbles way up high, way up high. There are bubbles way up high, way up high. There are bubbles way up high. Now they're falling down. There are bubbles in the sky. There are bubbles way up high in the sky. There's a bubble right there, right there. There's a bubble right there, right there. There's a bubble right there. There's a bubble in my hair. There's a bubble right there in my hair. And the bubbles say goodbye. Say goodbye. And the bubbles say goodbye, say goodbye. And the bubbles say goodbye. Say goodbye until next time. And the bubbles say goodbye till next time. Goodbye, bubbles. 
Goodbye, my beautiful, delightful friends. I just realized I didn't turn off the air filter, so I hope it wasn't too much noisy background noise. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope that I will see you at the library very soon. Bye-bye.